Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use this digital multimeter to check your charger. This make sure it's outputting the proper uh, voltage to charge your unit to whatever it needs to be. <coughs> In my case, I have a Bagode Master, which requires 134.4 volts, and as you can see by the charger, that's what it is. And there's the master under there. Now the problem uh, with a lot of these devices when uh, the calibration on these chargers are off and what ends up happening is is they don't charge your device to the proper voltage. And the BMSs that control the system on the unit will not balance the batteries unless it gets to the proper voltage first. So we're going to check this and if it's off we're going to dial it back in. and. Hopefully that fixes the issue that I'm having because every time I charge this unit I only get uh, after an hour of balancing I get 133.8 volts and the one time I didn't I just charged it and ran without the balancing I ended up with 133.4 or 134.6 I don't quite remember but not the 134.4 I, I require and Again, this is important for many reasons. Uh, aside from safety, because if one of your battery packs drains before the other three, uh, because of the way they're wired together, it just shuts off and you fall. And I don't want that. Um, I, I'm, I'm not as young as I used to be, and I don't heal as fast as I used to, so... Minimal risk for cutouts. is I'm all about that. Well, anyway... Uh, let's get this thing apart and uh, we'll get into it as you can see the power is on for the charger and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these two pins inside the holes labeled number one and number four and if you can't see the numbers too well it's the two holes just behind that little cutout Again, there we go. Sorry, still getting used to filming here. <laughs> Those two holes there, one and four, right behind that cutout. Those two pins are going to go in those holes. Doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, either one, it doesn't matter. Just don't let them touch unless if you do, well, you'll get a nice little scare. So there's number, f that one going in that one. That one in that one. And you just kind of hold them in place without zapping yourself here. Now if you can see, I got 134.1. Now it's not horribly off, but it's off. And also keep in mind that this is a cheap meter. It's a $35 meter from Amazon. It's not the most accurate. So it could be, you know, a tenth off or so. All right. Now that we know exactly what we're working with, now we know we need to adjust it because this is a 134.4 volt charger and the BMS won't balance uh, unless it reaches 134.4. And as you can see, it'll never do that which causes your batteries to become horribly out of balance and can cause cutouts. All right, let's show you how to adjust it. All right, in order to get at the inside of your charger, at least for the Bagode Master, the 134.4 volt charger, three amps, I think is what it's uh, output. Yeah, 134.4, three amp. Um, I already pulled the screws out. If I can get it to focus, right there you go. At the top left, top right corners, same thing on the other side. Bottom left, bottom right, because it's upside down. Uh, you pull those four screws out. And pops right open. Now the... Piece you're getting now when this is plugged in, it is live, and you don't want to touch metal against anything on the inside that shouldn't be touched against, especially those two big giant capacitors right there. That'll make quite a pop. What you're looking for is where the fan is, just behind it. 
that little blue square I think I can get in a little closer that's your adjustment for the voltage I don't not a hundred percent sure what the, the other one does on the other side but I know that one right there is the one for the voltage and you use a really small screwdriver uh, I have one of those eyeglass screwdrivers a really small one to turn the screw uh, I'm gonna do that off camera only because I'm kind of new at this myself and I don't want to risk getting shocked while I'm holding a cell phone holding two prongs inside a live plug and turning an adjustment so I'm gonna do the little adjustment real quick and then we'll get right back on and I'll show you the end result and there as you can see it's now at 134.4 Nothing's blown up, nothing's popped, and we're good to go. I hope this video helps people, and come Friday, uh, I'm going to actually charge my wheel to 100%. It's sitting at storage charge right now, because uh, I haven't been riding all week. It's bitter cold, but Friday night, I will be charging it to 100%, and when I'm all done... Uh, we'll find out if my battery packs are balanced properly or if I have to go through the hassle of charging each individual pack as some Bagode Master owners are finding. Well anyway, I, I hope again, I hope this helps and happy riding.